Hello and welcome to this SRC Learning Essentials series video about BGP communities and local preference. If you are not familiar with the Service Routing Certification Program, you can learn more by visiting our website at www.networks.nokia.com src. In this video, we will describe the purpose of BGP community and BGP local preference attributes, followed by an illustration of how a local preference route policy is used to influence traffic flow. In our lab, we will tag routes with communities and then configure and verify a local preference route policy on an Okia 7750 SR. A community is an attribute whose meaning is defined by the user of the community string. It is used to identify a set of routes that shares a common property or characteristic so that an upstream router may apply a policy to these routes. As an example, a community string could be used to identify prefixes associated with a particular service or prefixes from the same geographic region. A route may be associated with more than one community to indicate that it has multiple characteristics. By default, all routes are members of the internet community and this requires no configuration. All other communities are explicitly configured. The community attribute is an optional transitive attribute that a BGP router uses to communicate additional information about the routes it advertises to its pairs. Optional transitive means that the attribute may not be recognized by all BGP routers but it must still be preserved and advertise the pairs. A community attribute consists of two parts. The first part is the AS number, and the second part is any value within the two-byte range that is assigned by the network operator to uniquely identify a given characteristic or property. A router may add, remove, or replace the communities associated with a the route. Then, an upstream router may match on a community value to accept, reject, or modify the route. The standard defines four well-known communities that have local significance and must be supported by any community-aware BGP router. The No Advertise community indicates that the route must not be advertised to other BGP pairs. The No Export community indicates that the route must not be advertised to eBGP pairs. The No Export Subconfed community indicates that the route must not be advertised to eBGP pairs, including pairs within a BGP confederation. The No Pair community allows the sending AS to limit the propagation of more specific prefixes beyond pairing exchange points. As I already mentioned, a community is used to indicate that a route has a specific characteristic. In this example, this characteristic is the geographic region. So, router R5 adds the community 65520 20 to indicate that the prefix 10.65.102.0/24 is a network originating in the west region, and router R6 adds the community 65520:30 to indicate that the prefix 10.65.103.0/24 is a network originating in the east region. Because the community attribute is transitive, communities stay with the route unless explicitly removed. In this example, R1 and R2 pass these communities to AS65530. Local preference is a well-known discretionary BGP attribute. This means that it must be recognized by all BGP routers, but may or may not be present in a BGP update message. The local preference attribute is used between iBGP pairs within an AS to indicate the preferred exit path to an external destination. This attribute is used only when advertising a route to an iBGP pair and is not included in updates sent to eBGP pairs. The local preference attribute is the first to be considered in BGP route selection before any other attribute. So when multiple routes exist for the same prefix, the route with the highest local preference value is preferred. 
By default, the Nokia 7750SR uses a local preference of 100 for all routes advertised to IBGP pairs. Let's now analyze the traffic flow from AS65530 to Client 2 in the West region. As discussed earlier, Router R5 tags the route 10.65.102.0/24 with community 65520:20 and advertises it to its IBGP peers R1, R2, and R6. Both exit routers R1 and R2 then advertise the route to routers R3 and R4 in AS65530. R4 then advertises the route received from R2 to its IBGP pair R3. And similarly, R3 advertises the route received from R1 to R4. Because an eBGP route has a higher priority than an IBGP route in BGP route selection, both R3 and R4 prefer the route from their eBGP pair over the one from their IBGP pair. As a result, Traffic sent from R3 to AS65520 uses R3 as the exit point, and traffic sent from R4 to AS65520 uses R4 as the exit point. In this example, AS65530 wants to send all traffic destined to routes originating in the west region of AS65520 through R3. AS65530 therefore implements a local preference import policy on R3 and R4. R3 sets the local preference of routes tagged as west to 110, and R4 sets it to 80. With these policies applied, R3 still prefers the route from R1, but R4 now prefers the route from R3 over the one from R2 because it has a higher local preference. As a result, traffic flows destined to Client 2 from R3 and from R4 now both use R3 as the exit point from the AS. Next, we will move to our lab environment to complete this case study. BGP is enabled in and between the ASs. On R5, we will tag Client 2 routes with community 65520:20, which identifies routes in the West region. And on R6, we will tag Client 3 routes with community 65520:30, which identifies routes in the East region. On the entry border routers R3 and R4, we will then implement a local preference import policy, where R3 sets the local preference of routes tagged as West to 110, and R4 sets it to 80. We will inspect the community and local preference attributes in advertised routes and verify that traffic destined to client 2 exits 65530 via router R3. Alright, let's start the lab. First on R5, let's define community 65520 20 to identify routes in the West region. Configure router Policy options, don't forget begin. Community, West, members 65520 20. Commit. Over to R6, to define community 65520 30, which will identify routes in the East region. Configure router. Policy options again. Begin. Community. East. Members 65520. Colon 30. Commit. Next, let's tag the client prefixes with their corresponding communities. Here on our six info, and notice there is already a prefix list for client 3. So we only need to create the policy statement to attach the East community. Begin. Policy statement, client 3. Entry 10. 
from prefix list client three. Action accept and community add east back back commit. Then export the policy. Configure router BGP export client three. And back over to R5 to do the same for the client two prefix. Info. And again, the prefix list is created. Begin. Policy statement. Client two. Entry 10 from prefix list client 2. Action accept community add west back back commit and export the policy. Configure router BGP export client 2. Let's now verify that router R3 in AS65530 receives the prefixes with the assigned communities. First, the client 2 prefix. Show router BGP routes 10.65.102.0/24 detail. And this community is set correctly to 65520:20. Now for the client three prefix. Show router BGP routes 10.65.103.0 slash 24 detail. And this community is also set correctly to 65520 colon 30. All right, so before we apply any local preference policies, let's examine the current traffic flow and route selection. Show router BGP routes 10.65.102.0 slash 24. And this output shows that the client 2 route received from R1 over the eBGP session is preferred over the iBGP route received from R4. Checking on R4, show router BGP routes 10.65. 65.102.0/24 shows a similar output as the client to route is preferred from R2 which is the eBGP pair note the best route is selected based on the BGP route selection criteria where an eBGP learned route is preferred over iBGP now we are ready to implement a local preference import policy on the entry border routers R3 and R4. We will set the local preference of routes tagged as west to 110 on router R3 and to 80 on router R4. On R3, configure router policy options, begin, and we must first define the community. Community, Wes, members 65520, colon 20. And now the local preference policy. Policy statement, and we'll call this AS LP policy. Entry 10. from Community West, Action Accept, Local Preference 110, back, back, followed by Commit. And assign it as an eBGP import policy. Configure Router BGP, Group eBGP, Import AS LP policy. On R4,
And again, first define the community. Community West, number 65520, colon 20, followed by the local preference policy. Entry 10 from Community West. Action accept, but this time we'll set the local preference to 80. Back, back, commit. And finally assign it as an eBGP import policy. Okay, so now with the local preference policies applied, let's examine the current traffic flow and route selection again to view the changes. So here on our four, show router BGP routes 10.65.102.0 slash 24. And notice our four now selects the client two route received from our three over the route received from our two because it has a higher local preference value. Thus, R3 becomes the exit point in AS65530 for the client2 prefix 10.65.102.0/24. And this concludes our video on BGP communities and local preference. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Content for this video was adapted from the Nokia SRC Border Gateway Protocol course. You can access the complete course via any of the three learning formats shown on this page, as well as get remote private access to a service router lab to complete the course lab exercises. If you are interested in obtaining an SRC certification, this table identifies the recommended courses and required exams for each of the five available certifications in the program.